Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am off to Cat Bar Island which is in Hei Long Bay, Vietnam and I thought I'd take you along with me for a little trip. So we've currently been staying in the mainland in Hei Long and so to get to Cat Bar all we needed was a taxi and then a ferry across to the island and then a little mini bus across the island to the main city. So literally since we stepped foot in Vietnam, Tom's been trying to convince me to get a moped but the roads are so busy, it just looks so scary. But when we got to Cat Bar, the roads were so much quieter so I agreed and this is us getting our moped and it actually turned out to be a really good decision because it was so much fun and I'm pretty sure we saved so much on taxis. Once that was all sorted, we then head to our hotel, which was really cute. Look how cute this is. Next up, we got some food. This was so good. We found the nicest place, and I got a veggie curry and veggie spring rolls, which I've literally been craving since we got here, and I found it so hard to find any that don't have seafood in. After food, we then went and browsed some of the local markets before then going for more food for dinner. Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um, today we are today we are going to uh, Monkey Island and then we are going to a floating village, I think it's a fishing village, um, like just both of them are like little like areas just off of Cat Bar Island. Um, and we are either going to get a ferry there or kayak there, I'm not really sure yet, we're gonna see when we get to the ferry port. But before we go, I'm going to tell you about my hair crisis. So, I said in my last vlog about being frizzy, and the heat is just making it drier and drier. And basically, all of our stuff's in Thailand. So we've come to Vietnam for two weeks, but we've left like pretty much all of our stuff in Thailand. And we've come with like a tiny little bag. So my um, hair mask and like, anything good for my hair is in Thailand. So it's just getting worse by the day. And I um, didn't wash my hair before we left uh, Hei Long, before we came to Cat Bar. And um, I thought like, I'll wash it when I get here, but the shower was like one of those like trickly showers. So I cannot wash my hair because it wouldn't even get wet in the shower. Like, I'd have to stand there for so long. So this is basically my slick back. Please don't notice that my hair's greasy. Don't have hairspray, so it's gonna start flying away. Hairstyle. So just, you know, the hair's not gonna be great today on the vlog. Just please appreciate. Thank you very much. Um, we also, basically, I'm going to show you how we budget for this trip. So every evening, I like do the budget to make sure we're kind of like, if we're above, below, how much money we can be spending. Um, so I'm going to do it now so you guys can see how we're budgeting. It's quite fun. And we're pretty good at it, I think. Like, we've really stayed in budget. And when we go over, we make it back so well. So, Tom, are you ready to budget? Yeah. Okay. Right, what I do is I go on my notes. And it literally just says budget. It's, it's pretty pretty simple um i go on budget and so we've budgeted a thousand pound per month each of being away so um then we like put that together and then divide it by the weeks and then divide it by the days so overall we have 64 pound a day together like for the both of us the whole day including accommodation and travel costs and literally everything food anything we need 64 pound a day so at the end of the day, we see how much of the £64 we spent and we either carry it over or we have to take some off the next day to keep in budget. So 
we are the day before yesterday we were 24 pound 20 up so we actually had more money yesterday but how much did we spend yesterday let's see if we've gone over or we're below and we don't want to restrict ourselves either and like have a rubbish time of being like oh we can't spend money can't spend money so we do like to on days where there's going to be fun like today we're going to monkey island fishing village if we're going to spend money there we'll spend the money and then when if when the budget tells us in the evening that we've overspent we'll then like the next day like purposely spend under budget to make up for the fun day if you get what i mean so 24 pound 20 up what did we spend yesterday taxi to ferry taxi to ferry how much was that uh do you say it was five pounds okay we did taxi to ferry then we did the ferry that was two pound 20 each that was four pound 40 and then on the ferry did we get any snacks uh, the coffee and the red bull coffee and the red bull on the ferry how criminal tom drank a red bull at like 10 in the morning Absolute criminal. Um, 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, okay. So it be the afternoon. Still criminal. Um, it's alright if it's a monster, but if it's a rebel, it's a no go. Then what was it? We were on the ferry, we got off the ferry, then we got a bus. That was, what was that, 80,000 dong? How much is that? £2.60? Right, how much was the bike? That was uh, for three days, that was £10.50. And then we went for lunch, which was £11. £11. And then we had to add our accommodation on, which is £17 for the night. Dinner was pricey because we got cocktails. So that was, it was £23, wasn't it, for dinner? Mm -hmm. I that one. Okay, right, now I add up everything we spent. So let me add this up. £85. It's been £85 yesterday. A little bit over budget, but it's fine because we had 24 20 from the day before. So 85 take £24.20. £60.80, we're under budget. So we are currently £3.20 in a surplus. So yeah, that is that. And now we're probably gonna head to the Monkey Island because we're already pretty late in the day. It's like midday, I think. I will show you the monkeys, hopefully, if we see some. So bad news, when we got to the ferry port, we were told that Monkey Island is closed and doesn't even open again until 2023. And to do the floating market, you have to book a tour. So we changed our plan, we grabbed some lunch and then headed to Cat Bar National Park. On the way to the National Park, we drove past the hospital cave, which we didn't even realize was on this road. So we stopped off and had a little look around. Guys, the lights have just come out at the moment. That was really scary. We're looking for the exit. <laughs> we walked up, so we either go round that way and up, or yeah, we have to the other, the other way round. This is our view. Guys, we've made it to what I can only assume is the top because the trees, like the sky is there. It's not what I thought. I thought we'd be like seeing over Cat Bar, but I think we might be in the wrong place. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, oh, things are me. Made it to the top now. How many more steps? Like 100 million more steps. And look at my shoes. I've actually done this whole thing in sliders with a little handbag. It's embarrassing, I Because um, we didn't actually know we were coming here. But this is the view we were expecting. Guys, I would just like you to appreciate the rocky terrain. I have just climbed to get there. Thank you very much.
So we are at the, which I believe is called Catco Beach Number no. One. It's like three beaches and they're literally called Beach One, Beach Two, Beach Three. And um, we're at Beach Number no. One. And then from my book, my Grace Beverly book, um, which I've started but like barely. I've been reading Stephen Bartlett, so now I'm moving on to Grace Beverly. And yeah, I don't know how long we'll be here for, but that is currently what we're doing. Um, but we're going to try a drink at every place we go to and we just had dinner and had wine. How much was my wine? It was like £1.20 for a glass of wine. It, it wasn't great, I can't lie, but pretty, pretty good price for a wine. Um, is there a bit of cocktails here? Well, let's look at the menu. I don't think there is cocktails, is there? I thought there was. Uh, oh. Soft drinks too? Nah. So... Basically, everywhere we go in Vietnam, there's karaoke, like, everywhere. Like, must like every ten houses is karaoke. And um, I've been trying to convince Tom to go, and he won't go with me. So, basically, tonight's the night. Basically, we're trying new things. And my signature is margarita. I literally get it everywhere. Um, but we're trying new things. This is um, the next stop. Basically, I got hungry, so I've ordered crepes. Um, all of this was seven pounds. from no where am I Hanoi um because we left Cat Bar uh literally the morning after the last night that I vlogged but I never finished the video um so I'm gonna bring the vlog well I don't know what it's meant to be this was not meant to be a vlog this was meant to be kind of a uh three days in Cat Bar come with me itinerary however we didn't really do the stuff we planned like the Monkey Island things so I'm feeling like it became more of a vlog so yeah, you probably know what it was by now because I'll have written it in the title. But um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.